Hello fungi and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today I would like to talk about mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza is a symbiotic interaction between fungi and roots of the plant. This type of association is essential for the growth and health of many plants. The term mycorrhiza originates from Greek, combining two words mycos, translating to fungus, and rhiza, translating to root. Therefore, the composite term mycorrhiza can be understood as fungus root, conveying the symbiotic connection between fungi and plant roots in this specific association. Mycorrhiza offers benefits to both the fungus and the plant. The plant provides the mycorrhizal fungus with a source of carbohydrates, usually in the form of sugars produced through photosynthesis. In return, the fungus contributes to the plant's nutrient uptake by forming a network of hyphae in the soil extended from the plant root. These fine threads can explore a large volume of soil, increasing the plant's access to nutrients, especially such as phosphorus or nitrogen, and also enhance the plant's ability to absorb water from the soil. Some mycorrhizal associations can contribute to the plant's defense against certain soil-borne pathogens, and it can improve the plant's ability to tolerate environmental stressors, such as drought, salinity, or heavy metal toxicity. In addition, mycorrhiza frequently leads to increased plant growth, and often it's crucial for fungal partner growth. Also, mycorrhiza plays a big role in improvement of soil structure. There are two main types of mycorrhiza, ectomycorrhiza and endomycorrhiza. Each type has distinctive characteristics. The prefix ecto denotes external, indicating that the fungal hyphae remain outside plant cells. On the other hand, endo signifies internal, hyphae penetrate the plant root cells. So let's talk a bit more detailed about each type of mycorrhiza. Ectomycorrhiza. Since fungal hyphae do not penetrate inside the root cells, they form hyphal network between cells, also known as hartignet. This network facilitates the exchange of nutrients nutrients between the fungus and the host plant. Ectomycorrhizal fungi envelop the fungal root, forming mantle. This external mycelial layer provides a protective covering for the root tips. The fungal hyphae extend into the surrounding soil, effectively increasing the exploration area for nutrients. Ectomycorrhizal fungi are predominantly basidiomycetes, some ascomycetes, and the very few zygomycetes. Many are capable of producing fruiting bodies on and under the ground, such as mushrooms or truffles. Ectomycorrhizal associations often exhibit host specificity, meaning that a particular fungus may form symbiotic relationships with specific tree or plant species. For example, Amanita muscaria and pine trees, chanterelle and oak trees, Bolitus edulis and birch trees. And the mycorrhizal fungi, except of some cases, do not typically have hartic net and mantle. Fungi in endomycorrhizal association are mainly from the glomeromycota phylum. Basidiomycetes and ascomycetes fungi are also described in endomycorrhizal association. These fungi do not usually produce the fruiting bodies that we commonly associate with mushrooms. Within the category of endomycorrhiza, there are distinct subtypes, each with its own specific characteristics. The three primary subtypes include arbuscular mycorrhiza, orchid mycorrhiza, and ericoid mycorrhiza. Arbuscular mycorrhiza is the most prevalent form of endomycorrhizal association. The fungal hyphae penetrate the root cells forming tree-like specialized structures called the arboscules, serving as the primary site for a nutrient exchange between the fungus and the plant. This association is widespread. About 80% of all vascular plant species forms symbiotic relationships with arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. The evolution of arbuscular mycorrhiza dates back around 450-500 million years ago, matching with the colonization of land by plants. In case of orchid mycorrhiza, fungi form different structure inside the root cells, pelotons, which has coil-like conformation. Mycorrhizal association is essential for orchid seed germination and early growth. Due to a lack of carbon reserve 
in the seed orchids solely rely on fungal partner in carbon supply. Additionally, many orchids, particularly those lacking chlorophyll, practice obligate mycoheterotrophy, obtaining nutrients exclusively from the mycorrhizal fungi rather than through the photosynthesis. As it's obvious from the name, ericoid mycorrhiza is an association between mycorrhizal fungi and ericoid plants. Economically important plants in this family include blueberry, bilberry, cranberry and rhododendron. Fungal hyphae penetrate root cells of ericoid plants and get coiled conformation. Additionally, hyphae envelop plant root forming mantle like in case of ectomycorrhizal interaction. Combination of features of both ecto and endomycorrhiza is called ectendomycorrhiza. One of the remarkable features of ericoid mycorrhizal fungi is their ability to thrive in acidic soils. Consequently, this association is crucial for plant survival in soils with low pH level. These associations are commonly found in environments like heatlands and peat bogs, where nutrient availability is limited. The fungi aid the host plant in nutrient uptake, contributing to the plant's resilience in harsh conditions.